SNES DRUNK! Not everyone is into sports games, and that's understandable. Some folks would rather just go play sports themselves instead of a video game, but I still think it's silly to lump all sports games together as the same thing for people to dismiss entirely. I've played a ton of 16-bit sports games over the years, both good and bad, and I can appreciate that from a development standpoint, they represent a unique challenge. Like, if you're making a baseball game, there's so many things you need to get right between pitching, hitting, fielding, pace of play, it's really tough to get the balance right, and not just if you're Depeche Mode. Even big-time studios like EA and Visual Concepts didn't always get it right, just look at MLBPA Baseball. It's an okay game, it's got a player's license, but it still just doesn't feel or play like a top-notch baseball game. I say all that as a qualifier for this game, Olympic Summer Games made by Black Pearl and Teartex, released in June 1996 for the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Genesis, PlayStation, 3DO, and I can only imagine how difficult it is to put together a game like this. There's 10 different Olympic events to play through in this game, and they range from okay-ish at best to just downright silly. There's the 100 meter sprint, 110 meter hurdles, pole vault, high jump, long jump, triple jump, javelin throw, discus throw, archery, and skeet shooting, and they all come together in this game as 10 separate mini-games with their own feel, their own controls for the most part, and their own physics. And some of them work just fine, and some of them do not. The sprinting events have you mash A and B, and you press up on the D-pad to lean over the finish line, basically the same thing as the track and field games on NES. Pretty dull. The javelin and discus events have you button mash while hitting a direction on the D-pad at the exact right moment you need to, and I stress the word exact because you could fail a hundred times at executing a basic throw before you finally manage to get one right. Pole vault, triple jump, long jump, and high jump events are similar, more button mashing and d-pad timing, only for whatever reason in these events the timing is a lot more forgiving. The pole vault in particular is actually pretty decent. You press down at the right time to set the pole, then quickly press up to get off the ground, and then right to push yourself over the bar. The archery and skeet shooting also have solid consistent controls, it's usually pretty easy to score well in these events. But it's just that, well, even when this game gets it right, you're still left with just kind of a boring mini-game. Olympic Summer Games really isn't any different than titles like American Gladiators or Nickelodeon Guts, although I'm thanking my lucky freaking stars that this game isn't nearly as bad as those. It's just kind of dull. The graphics are bland, the music is bland, the controls are bland. Sure, it's competently made for the most part, but I mean, yeah, congratulations for passing the lowest bar. I should mention that there is a practice mode here so you can mash all the buttons to your heart's content. Seriously, I feel like I should be delivering a stern warning to anyone who wants to play this like I'm some kind of gaming surgeon general or something. But really, if you play this one, do it with a crappy controller. Don't ruin a good controller with this game. So yeah, the Summer Olympic Games in Paris will be coming to a close in the next few days. And hey, if you want, you can sustain your Olympic fever even further with Olympic Summer Games for Super Nintendo. Or maybe not. It's really not that bad of a game, it's just dull as dishwater, and the non-stop button mashing could ruin your controller. Man, how sad would that be, to have your original SNES controller that you used to beat so many games with over the years, and its last days are met with the frustrating button pounding brought about by friggin' Olympic Summer Games? But anyway, this game is a good example of something that you can see was clearly competently made, but it's also competently boring. It would have been nice to kill a weekend way back when, but it's not much to play today. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.